Being Well Salford is a new service commissioned by Salford City Council to support people to make changes to their health and well-being. In this short film, we hear some of the feedback from the partner organisations involved in the Being Well Salford project. The very nature of the project is quite interesting, which is around coaching and supporting people to make those changes, which I thought was quite innovative, actually, and I quite like that as a different approach. I think the other one was the ethics and values of the partnership. Um, this is a group of social enterprises, and that's quite exciting. It's something that we don't typically do. Um, and the partners, the, the partners within it are quite stimulating. Uh, so I always figured it would be, um, it's a challenging project, but with a good set of partners, with the right ethics and values. And I think Big Life is a good, is a good project manager. They're the ones, you know, they really are the ones who are holding that value system together. We thought there was a real opportunity to, to demonstrate what social enterprises can achieve by working together. Um, most importantly, I guess, there was a real opportunity to make a difference for, with, with local people. Um, but also the, the potential uh, for us as a smaller organisation um, to engage in a much, much larger service than we could run on our own. We don't have the, enough staff at the moment to do one-to-one uh, -one support with people and we recognise a lot of people who use the centre would definitely benefit from a bit more intensive uh, encouragement uh, and people who might have a number of uh, different health issues that they will probably benefit from having a bit of one-to-one -one support over a fairly lengthy period. Right at the beginning part of the partnership we asked people to say what we valued and how we wanted to work together and then I've been chairing that partnership group and we've been able to then reflect back on that when times have got tough. The fact that we, we do all take slightly different uh, approaches to, to health and well-being actually is proving a real benefit so we can start to learn off each other a little bit more. It was brand new and the timescales on it were, were um, very very challenging to, to get the thing um, from the state of being a, a tender document to a real project. My feeling is that there is no great egos within it. People are very open, sometimes quite direct, but in a positive and constructive way. And that's a key part of any co-production process. A co-production process is basically where you pose the problem and you say, these are the outcomes we want and how are we going to design a service that gets us there? And uh, we had the opportunity to design the service with both the partners and with the commissioner going back to the Commissioner saying this is where we're up to, what do you think of that? So we did an initial stage for the bid and then we did a development phase afterwards where people were working together, we were looking at the best um, of the evidence about best ways of working, we were looking at the experience of people around the table and then we were designing the service from that. The fact that not only have the partners worked collaboratively but we've also brought service users into that discussion as well and really developed the service around the, 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 the participant. It's felt really refreshing and positive to to be so heavily involved in the in the design and you know set up of this service really. It's not just been this is what we got the tender for, this is what the spec is, now let's do it. It's been much more co-production between all the partners in developing a model and a system. And that's also been quite an intriguing way of doing it. Uh, and I think we've come out with a better product at the end. It's really good to get new staff into the organisation, different points of view. The Being Well coaches have had a slightly different uh, training programme to, the, to the, uh, the training that the health trainers have had and there's an element of being able to bring that learning in and sharing that learning. So not only has it brought us together closer with the Being Well service and now that they're referring to our team and we're referring to them, um, we've also got a better partnership now with other groups that are around the table uh, like the health trainer service, um, like YMCA, so we're working a lot closer and finding out more information. The other key benefit is we would never have got anything because we would never have tended for a contract like this. And by the very fact that we've become a subcontractor to a larger contract is, is, is a good thing for me because it's an area we, 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 we weren't big enough to do. But as a collective, we could participate in that. You know, we have got a good offer and we've got good facilities and things like that, but perhaps we've not got the experience. So learning through somebody else having that contract and us some contract and it's, it's, you know, it's been really useful. Looking at the issues from a different perspective and having members of, kind of non-clinical members of, in, in the team, looking at uh, the wider issues in people's lives. We also asked the partners involved in Being Well Salford about their hopes for the future. 
I hope that we can communicate the impact to commissioners to, to continue with this kind of model and see this as a as part of the mainstream in, in, in Salford of what um, what people can expect to to receive uh, when they face the challenges that the people who use the service do. As far as we know there isn't a service like being well anywhere else in, in the UK so we, we need to um, have some room to experiment, to learn, um, to make mistakes, to fail at times and I think that's really important. Um, also to see what other opportunities there might be to, to either work as an existing partnership or in different types of partnership to be able to um, provide services that can operate at scale that can address some of the larger social issues that individually we're not able to deliver uh, as a smaller organisation. The issues we're dealing with you could basically replicate in every working class community in Britain and I think this needs to be rolled out all over Britain to improve the quality of people's lives.